at b1c test is very very important for those patient those who have already diabetes okay so they may have diabetes for a year or 5 years or 10 year or longer than that but it share us your blood sugar level with irrespective of your meal so whether it's a fasting or random or pp so it does not tell us about that but it just tell us about the average of the 3 months blood sugar level so this is uh, very important for the monitoring okay so it has limited value at the diagnosis but uh, it's very good whether you are performing good for the blood sugar lowering level or not that we can check it through the hba1c level so it should be repeated after 3 months so there is no point in going for every month this testing so we need one test and it does not interfere with your meal or a uh, anything which you take so it's just a average of 3 month blood sugar actually nowadays because we have so many oral drug which is available to us for diabetes management so insulin use is essential but it is not essential for those who are uncontrolled basically okay so in the beginning we have a good oral drugs which can be easily controlled your blood sugar level okay but if it is not controlled for many many years and your hba1c level crosses more than 8 or 9 then we add to add insulin so insulin is also safe but it should not be given to the every patient okay and insulin is only for those patient where oral drug we cannot control by oral drug okay but now we have a very good oral drug so most of the patient around 80% of the patients are already controlled by oral drug so they don't need insulin but the insulin can be added to them later on